we're going to have a look at negative and fractional indices. We're going to start off with some negative indices. So this one says to write down the value of 3 to the power of minus 1. So make sure you've got a piece of paper and a pencil and you're making some notes on these. We're going to have a look at this first one to get started. Now you've met uh, some of the process in this before. Now a negative power does not actually mean making this number negative. A negative power actually means to do the reciprocal, which is to flip it over. Now if we imagine something else, some, so some, a fraction like 3 quarters, the reciprocal of that would be to flip the numbers over, so you'd have 4 thirds, okay? And that's called the reciprocal. Okay. There we go, so that's the reciprocal. Now, this number here is just the number three, so it's not a fraction, so you might be thinking, okay, well, how am I gonna do the reciprocal of that? How am I gonna flip that over? So we need to think about how we could write three as a fraction, and the way we do that is to write it as three over one. Okay, so to do the reciprocal of that, that's quite easy for us to flip over. We just swap the three and the one, and that becomes one over three. So that's the reciprocal of three. Uh, the power there is negative 1, so the 1 part we're going to have a look at in a sec. A power of 1 doesn't actually change anything though, it just means just to flip it over. We'll have a look at what happens when that number changes, so when it's maybe a power of minus 2 or a power of minus 3. But to start with, there you go, you flip the number over, so our answer for that would be 1 third. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so write down the value of 4 to the power of negative 2. Now the negative part's still gonna do the same thing, so we're still gonna do the reciprocal. So four, again, is not a fraction, so we'll write it as four over one, and the reciprocal of that is one over four. Now this actually has a negative two in there, so that two is just a normal power. Okay, so the two is just a normal power of two, and when we do a power of two, we square what we've got. So when we're squaring a fraction, we are just gonna square it like we would a normal number, except we're just gonna square the top, and we're gonna square the bottom. So the square of one, one squared, one times one is still one. And the square of four, four times four is 16. So there's our final answer, one over 16. So a negative power flips it over, the number is just a normal power. Let's have a look at one more. Okay, so write down the value of five to the power of negative three. Again, we'll imagine five as being five over one. We'll flip it over, which makes it one over five. And then this time we have a three in the power, so we're going to do both these numbers cubed or to the power of 3. So 1 to the power of 3 is 1 times 1 times 1. If we can write down 1 times 1 times 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And the bottom there, 5 to the power of 3 is 5 times 5 times 5. Let's take your time working that out. 5 times 5 is 25. Times 5 again is 125. And there's our final answer, 1 over 125. Okay, so here's some for you to have a go at. So just remember on these, the negative part of the power flips it over, the number along with it is just a normal power. So there's 40 for you to have a go at, pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so for the first one, eight to the power of minus one, let's flip that over, one over eight. The one is in the power, so that doesn't affect these numbers, so it just stays as one over eight. Five to the power of minus two, flip the five over becomes one over five, and we'll square both of these, and we get one over 25. 3 to the power of minus 3, flip that over is 1 third or 1 over 3, and the power there is a 3, so we're going to do both these to the power of 3. So we get 1, and 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And on to the last one, 2 to the power of negative 4, flip that over becomes 1 over 2, and we're going to do both of these to the power of 4. So 1 to the power of 4 is 1, and 2 to the power of 4, which we can work out, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 again is 16, and there's our final answer. So that's some negative powers and what happens there. Let's have a look at some fractional powers. Okay, so 64 to the power of a half. Now when it comes to these fractional powers, I like to think of that little divide symbol in the power, the, the line, as like ground level. Now this little bit underneath the ground level, I kind of always like to link this back to like a plant, the bit of the plant which is underneath the ground is the root. So that number underneath there asks us to do the root. And two represents a square root. Okay, so two is a two, a, a two root or a, two, or a square root. So we're gonna do the square root of 64. So the square root of 64 is eight. There we go, so our answer is eight. There's a one on the top, and a one on the top is just the normal power. So the number on the top is the normal power. 
There we go, let's write that in, the normal power. So if we increase that to something else, we'd have to think about doing a power here as well, but we've just got one over two, which is a normal power of one on the top, but a square root on the bottom. Let's have a look at another one. Right, so write down the value of 125 to the power of a third. So again, 125 to the power of a third. We have this number on the bottom, which is the root, and a three would represent a cube root. Again, it's just a one on the top though, which is a normal power of one, and a normal power of one does not change our number at all, so a normal power. But a cube root, let's write that in, so that would represent the cube root of 125. So just help to know your square and cube numbers here. 125 is a cube number, and the cube root of five is five. And there we go, remember you can always think about that backwards. You can think, okay, well five times five is 25, times five again is 125, so the cube root of 125 is five. So when you're doing these fractional powers, just look at what number's on the bottom. That could be a square root, a cube root. We could have a four on the bottom, and that would be a fourth root. We could even have five or, or numbers beyond, maybe fifth root, sixth roots. But we'll have a look at some of these. So here's some for you to have a go at. So pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, let's have a look at the answers for these then. So, 25 to the power of a half, that's a two on the bottom, so that's a square root, and the square root of 25 is five. 81 to the power of a half, again, two on the bottom, so the square root of 81, which is nine. 27 to the power of a third has a three on the bottom, so that is gonna be the cube root of 27, and the cube root of 27 is three. And the final one here, 64 to the power of a third, again, is the cube root of 64. And the cube root of 64 is not the nicest one, but it's four. Four times four is 16, times four again is 64. Right, let's have a look. Got one more for you to have a look at. Okay, so here's the question. Write down the value of 25 to the power of negative a half or minus a half. So you've got a negative power in there as well as a fraction. Have a go, see what you think it is. We're going to go over this in another video. But have a go at this one and see what you get. Okay, so the answer here. So we've got 25 to the power of minus a half. So we've got a few steps here. Now the negative part does exactly what it did previously. It flips it over, it does the reciprocal. So I'll just write flip for that. The two on the bottom does what it did as well previously. It does the root and the one on the top is not going to affect anything, it's just the normal power. So we've got two steps to do here. It doesn't really matter which order we do it in, but we've got two steps to do. We've got to flip it over for the negative symbol, and we've got to do the root for the two on the bottom. So I'm going to go for just doing the root first. Now the square root of 25 is 5, so at the moment my answer is 5. Now, if we have a look at flipping it over for that second part, so if we flip five over, remember five's five over one, we get the answer one over five. And that's our final answer there, one over five. We're gonna have a look at some of these in the next video where we've got negative and fractional powers getting joined together, but that's what my negative fractional power would do there, it'd be flipping it over and then doing the root. But just so you know, you could have done it in any other order. We could have flipped it over first, that would have given us one over 25, and then we could have done the square root of both these numbers. Okay, and we'd just do the top and the bottom. So the square root of one is one, the square root of 25 is five, and we still get our one fifth there, our one over five. So that's the end of the video, bit of a quick one. Uh, if you like the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one.